everyone, welcome back to Dr. Kearney's YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a arm focus workout routine that we want to make sure you can do anywhere you feel like you want to get active in. So it can be done at your home, at the gym, at the park, anywhere you feel that it might be a good time to do some physical activity. So to start off with our workout routine today, we're going to do some arm circles. And to do that, you're going to put your, make sure your feet are shoulder width apart and bring your arms up to the sides straight out and all we're going to do is make small circles either towards um, the front of our bodies or towards the back of our bodies. And we're going to do that for 30 seconds in total, 15 seconds, um, either frontwards rotations or backwards rotations. I'll let you know when to switch, but I'll have my timer here and I'll start us off. Okay, we're going to start off going forwards. So just making these tiny, tiny circles, making sure you're not dropping your arms down to the side because that's what's really going to work our arm muscles here. Okay, so it's been 15 seconds, so now we're gonna go towards the back. And again, keeping your arm muscles up here, making sure that your arms are staying straight out from our bodies. Awesome. So the next exercise we're going to be doing is a push-up, and we're gonna be doing 10 push-ups. So I'm gonna show a modified version of a push-up, and we're gonna do that together. But if you want a little bit more challenge, you can go up on your toes and do a full push-up. So to do a modified one, all you do is get into, um, get onto your knees and bring your arms out just below your shoulders here. And all we're gonna do is we're going to push towards the ground and then push up. And you wanna make sure your elbows are staying at your sides here. And we're gonna do that 10 times together. So I'll count us out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine last one ten so now we're going to move on to 30 seconds of mountain climbers so start with your hands just below your shoulders with your palms flat on the ground and then your toes should also be on the ground uh, make sure that your back is fully straight so everything is in line um, nothing is too high or too low and then Bring one of your knees to the center of your body and then alternate. So we don't want to go too fast that uh, you can't feel it in your core, but also we don't want to go too slow so that there's no cardio at all. So we're going to do 30 seconds in three, two, one, let's go. Make sure to engage your core. And we have 15 seconds to go. And we're done. Great job. Next, we're going to keep our hands facing forwards, gripping a chair, a bench, anything. You're going to place your feet up straight so that most of the weight is in your hands. And then you're going to dip down such that the upper arms are parallel to the ground. And you're going to go up. And you're just going to do this a couple of times. And you should really feel it in your tricep area. And getting your lower body as close to the ground as possible just makes it more of an effective workout. And that's it. The next exercise we're going to do is plank shoulder taps. And to do this, you're gonna get into the plank position. So you can either go up on your toes, but I'm gonna show a modified version of being down on your knees in a plank position. So you wanna bring your knees kind of um, pretty far back and make sure you're holding that plank position and squeezing your abs. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring your hand up and tap the opposite shoulder and then bring it back down and you do the same thing with your opposite hand. Bring it back down. 
And so when you tap each shoulder once, that's one rep. So we're gonna do 10 of those. So I'll count you out. One. Two. Three, four, make sure you're squeezing those abs, five, halfway done, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. So this next exercise is called back fly pulses. For this, you're going to want to start shoulder feet width apart, lean your back in, but make sure it's still straight. Take your arms, extend them outside, and then make sure your palms are facing towards the back of the room. Now you're going to want to pulse towards the back. So you're going to take your arms, push them back, and this is going to be done in a motion where your arms are still straight and your shoulders are pushing in. Okay, let's do it for 30 seconds. Okay, that's all. Good job. Alright, next up we're going to do some plank up downs. So you're going to start on the plank position with your hands below your shoulders and your back flat in a line with your legs. And then you're going to take one arm and drop it to the ground so that you're on your elbow and forearm and do the same with the other arm. And then you push back up with one arm and the other arm as well. And that's one rep. So we're going to do this for about 30 seconds. And while you're doing this, you feel in your core, and you should be trying to keep your back as straight as you can. If you're having trouble holding this plank position, you can always switch to going on your knees instead of your legs, and then going down, down, 